To check if your relief valve is broken, you need a data logger like an MSD Dashhawk or Cov Access Port or any other OBD2 data logger. Set your data logger to record the high pressure fuel pump actual pressure. Now start your car and let it run for two minutes. After this, you turn your engine off and put the key in the on position so you can start to lock the pressure in the fuel rail. The pressure should start to go up. At a certain point you will see that the pressure will not go higher and you will see a small pressure drop. This is the relief valve releasing some of the pressure in the fuel rail. As you can see in the data log I made, my pressure didn't go higher than 1355 psi. A good working relief valve should hold close to 1850 psi and should show a log like you see in the picture now. So I think my uh, relief valve on my uh, high pressure fuel rail is busted. 45 psi, starting engine and a winding noise. Okay, so this is how you well, find your f high pressure relief valve. Follow the yellow clip, you'll go down, and there's the other clip. And if you see, there's the high pressure relief valve. In front of it is this rail guard mounted with four bolts. You have to remove the front mounted intercooler piping, or at least something so you can get it out of the way like this otherwise you will not be able to get to that fucking bolt so I've installed the uh, new uh, relief valve already seeing higher uh, fuel pressure with just the electronic pump I'm gonna start it and as you can see the fuel pressure is holding higher than before. I'm running a safe map, 1615 psi. As you can see, it's holding a lot better. Problem solved. And if you listen really good, there's no more whining noise. 